what led me to Tai Chi, um, eight, uh, February the 6th, I had a stroke. My whole right side was paralyzed. I couldn't afford for um, physical therapy. So this is better than physical therapy. It's hands on and it's really been beneficial to me. I'm getting most of my movements back. It's really been beneficial to me. So you've really noticed the mobility? Change? I've noticed a huge, tremendous change physically and mentally. Three years ago, I was diagnosed with diabetes type 2 and began a regimen of um, insulin once a day. I was started out at uh, 20 units of insulin per day and then gradually watched my diet, did my walking, and got it down to 18 units. And then last December 2012, I started the Tai Chi. And by April 2013, my doctor took me off of insulin. And since that time, I have lost 20 pounds, 65 years old, and in better health than I've been in a long time, thanks to Tai Chi. I started coming to Tai Chi oh, over a year ago. And before that, I thought I had a uh, left uh, weak knee. I had uh, problems, you know, going up and down the stairs. And uh, I didn't have any injuries to my knee. I am a swimmer. I thought I had good muscles, all that kind of thing. So I started coming and suddenly I realized I had a muscle on my hip that I wasn't aware of all these years. And as I did all the movements in Tai Chi, I you know, realized that muscle was getting stronger and before I knew it, my left knee problem was gone. I could go up and down the stairs without any problems. Well, a couple of years ago I decided that uh, time I had to do something because my stress levels were getting ridiculous. Yeah, the, the one uh, medication I take, I was taking, uh, it's, number one, it's quite expensive, and number two, you have to inject twice a day. And what makes it even more of a pain is it has to be taken between an hour before the meal and the time you eat. You, can, you know, you can't take it afterwards, you can't take it sooner, you know, you, you're sort of limited. And, if you're like going out to dinner or something, it gets to be a real hassle. And that was one of the medications that my doctor ended up uh, deciding that we should get away from. So I was real happy about that. Plus, you know, sticking yourself every day is not a fun thing anyway. I mean, you sort of get used to it, but it's still not fun. So then with the, the thing with the diabetes, uh, he asked me if I'd made any changes, and really, it, you know, the only change I've made has been a, you know, doing Tai Chi and you know two years worth of Tai Chi has had a definite impact and you know my diet's been basically the same although uh, you know I realize that Tai Chi isn't really a heavy-duty aerobic exercise but I noticed that my weight's still dropping and uh, you know and of course all that contributes to you know getting better but, you know his, his, his contention is diabetes is a chronic progressive disease and my contention is that no, it ain't. At any rate, um, I kept kept up with the Tai Chi and then uh, had a blood test, and all of a sudden my A1C was hanging in around six seven, six eight. So the doctor started cutting back on some of the medications, and then about a year after that, we had had another blood test, and my A1C had dropped to four point six. And my doctor decided that time to really start getting rid of some medications. So um, probably in another couple of months I'll be due for another blood test and hopefully I'll be able to get rid of a few more meds.
My name is Lynn Perrin, and I have multiple sclerosis. Tai Chi has really allowed me to improve my balance and my fatigue. Those are two big things with MS, and my fatigue level has really gone down, and it really has helped with all of my symptoms of MS. I have noticed uh, a big improvement on my outlook on life in general, and uh, multiple sclerosis can really bring you down, and uh, I have got, gotten Bill Douglas's meditation uh, CD, and it really, really helps me um, to relax and get back on track and just get the negative thoughts out of my mind. And I really, really recommend Tai Chi. I'm reading Bill's uh, book, Idiots for, The Idiot's Guide to Tai Chi, and it has been very helpful and gives me a good perspective on what I need to do in my life. certainly felt that I gained quite a bit from the Tai Chi uh, working with uh, Bill Douglas that uh, I've really improved in the flexibility and balance those two things for sure and uh, also uh, I very much have enjoyed and feel that I've gained quite a bit from the meditation my name is Mary Beveridge and I've had Parkinson's disease for the last 10 years I started Tai Chi because I heard that it was good for improving your balance. And I, it's fulfilled my expectations. I also find that it's both relaxing and invigorating. And even if I feel sort of tired when I'm coming in, I always feel a lot more energetic afterwards.